everyone, welcome back. My name is Pandora, and welcome back to Dear Mona, Chapter 29, Just Friends. And so the pattern continued. Mark and Sean, Sean and Mark, but this time I had to put a stop to it. And with that thought in mind, I knew what I had to do. And I can't stop staring at those beautiful lips. Mark, I can't. And the belly is really turning me on. Mark, I'm sorry. I just, I've been trying so hard to stay away from you. Now that you're right here in front of me again, I know. Listen, I, I love you, Mark. I always have. But until this baby is born, I think we should remain friends. But, I'm going to say the same thing to Sean. My focus has to be this baby. And until we know who the father is, I get it. Which is hard for me to admit. Because I want you so bad. And you have to do what's right for the baby. Thank you for understanding. But after the baby is born, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Deal. Now, I've been thinking about baby names. Oh, yeah? Would you like to hear my girl or boy name? Mm, girl. Girl, please. Well, I was thinking about when you were younger. Your doll was named Mona. I think that name should be special. What? Nothing. I just thought the same exact thought. I love the name Mona. Great minds think alike. Man, it feels so good to laugh with you again. It sure does. By the way, Rhonda is a dog. What? What's, that's not a nice thing to say. No, she's actually a dog. I know you were misled by my mother. But Rhonda is my neighbor's dog. I've been walking her a lot because my neighbor's sick. So yes, I've been spending a lot of time with Rhonda. Wow. Well, you had me fooled. Sorry. Yeah, Rhonda is the second best girl in my life. Now that I've decided that my love life should wait until the ba until the birth, I have to talk to Sean as well. Let's see if a new outfit can boost my courage. We don't have the diamonds, but we can look at them. Cute. Well, this doesn't really help my confidence, but I guess it'll have to do. Now, let's see about my hair. Not changing it. That's better. So, until the baby's born, I think we should just be friends. At the moment, all I can tell you is, what do I tell Sean about our relationship? The future is unclear. I want to put the baby first. Mark handled all this badly, I know. But he's really a good guy. And if he's the father of the baby, I'll have to reconsider everything. Well, I can't say I didn't see this coming. But I get it. Until we know who the baby, whose baby it is, kind of hard to get our heads on straight. I'm glad you understand. This isn't easy for any of us. And I don't want to com com complicate things further. But what happens after the baby is born? I'll tell you the same thing I told Mark. We'll cross the bridge when we come to it. Fine with me. Hi. Can I talk to you for a minute, Pandora? Okay, but I got a lot 
I don't have a lot of time. Thank you. I'll leave you to it. I won't be long. I just wanted to apologize. I've been awful to you. Yeah, I'll say. I need to make a lot of changes in my life. I realized that after your emergency the other day, and it, you'll let me, I'd love to be a good aunt if Sean's, the baby is Sean's. I appreciate that. Let's just take it slow for now. Okay? Okay. Okay, I'll leave you two alone now. See you, Pandora. Thanks again. Well, one day at a time, gotcha. Now, how about we go get another bowl of that ice cream? <laughs> We're even too crazy with sprinkles, sprinkles, the rainbow kind, the rainbow kind, anything you want. Well, now, that's an offer I can't refuse. Now, where are Blair and Max? They're going to make me late again. Miss Stanton? What are you doing here? I was hoping we could talk. I think we we did enough talking for a lifetime. Hmm. Look, I wanted to clear the air. Somewhere, somewhere away from your house. I can't seem to control my emotions there. So I wanted to catch you somewhere natural. Miss Stanton says she wanted to clear the air between us. I don't trust you. To be honest, I'm not sure I believe you. I don't blame you, but I assure you, I'm, my intuitions are pure. All right. I have to say, you were glowing. Thank you. Only for a month. I only have only about a month left to go. I can't believe I might be. I may be a grandmother. Yes, maybe. I have to admit something to you. I don't think your mother and I will ever get along. I don't expect you to. She has made some mistakes that are pretty hard to forgive. Yes. But it's not fair that I blame you, blame her, and forgave my husband. Yes, but I'm sorry, I don't know why you're telling me this. I just don't want Mark hurt in the same way. I, I would never hurt Mark intentionally. I've always loved him. Yes, I always saw that in you, and I saw that in him. You two were inseparable. That time you tried to run away from home. I'm sorry I dis got I disgraced. What I'm trying to say is, I don't want to take my anger out on you and the baby. If the baby is Mark's. I would love to be in the baby's life. Wow, that means a lot to me. I'm getting too many apologies lately. Maybe I should apologize too. Whatever. I am... I too am sorry for saying some pretty harsh words to you I didn't think that about how painful it must have been for you to revisit the past in such a complicated way I'd be happy to leave these arguments behind us thank you now I'll let you get to school we'll talk soon bye Miss Stanton Well, two more months of school, and more importantly, one more month until that beautiful baby is here. I know. I'm getting really excited, especially because I have enough for my own place. I can't thank you enough for that job. Of course. I'm so proud of you. And starting community college in the fall, too? You're a responsible young lady. I'm trying. Everyone has been so helpful. Uh oh, what's that sound? Miss Lee? Is everything okay? I just... I had a very strong vision. What? 
What was it? I, I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. I don't have that. Okay. Let's, let's worry about me later. You need to go to the nurse. Yes, I feel faint. Just promise me one thing. You won't put yourself at risk. Because if you do, you'll be stuck. Okay, what was that about? Glimpse of the future. Miss Lee has had a lot of visions about you and your baby. Whether you believe her or not, you're probably still curious. Maybe you'll learn something about the baby. Or maybe you'll learn something about the baby daddy. But that's where we're going to leave for this video. That would be chapter 30. We got five more chapters left. We're windling down. But I will see y'all in the next video. If you do like this video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon because I upload twice a day. I'll see you lovelies in the next video. Bye.